Hi Madhu, how are we doing today? Good, thank you. Now, since its inception in 2011, Phantom has been a trailblazer. Phantom has done things that other production houses have not dared to do. So what is it that we're presenting to the world now? What is this new association that we're going to be talking about? We're talking about an affair that uh, we've been having with France from 2010, uh, when the Kunz film first went to Khan and all of us wanted to travel and <laughs> fell in love with that country. And uh, how um, we've been trying to collaborate with them over the years. Um, uh, about two years back, we made a film uh, in India and France called Masan, okay. which went on to win the Critics Award. Uh, we're first going to show you a small idea of the journey so far between France and us. All right. And after that, we'll talk about the rest. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is the first audio visual presentation for. <laughs> <laughs> Your friend is correct. <laughs> Uh, well, like I said, it's uh, we're happy to, uh, we just want to show you, Masan was in Hindi, which was the first co-production, but we want to show you a new film that uh, we produced and is ready for release, and uh, I'll show you the trailer and talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen, the for top. the first time, cinema, we love Paris. We love Paris. We love Paris. We really love Paris. And my personal favorite, the French fear of love. That's my personal favorite. But until now, I think it's about to change. I think we're about to fall in love with another example of French perfection, aren't we? Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, from to the top, for the first time ever, presenting to you, Mr. Kev Adams. Hi, Kev. How are you today? Thank you. I'm fine. I'm, I'm really happy to be here for the first time. It's my first time in, in Mumbai. So I, I want to thank you all for, for coming, even if you're taking pictures. Hey. Uh, it's a great, I mean, we're really proud of this association with, um, with um, Reliance and with Phantom. It's a great honor to work here. It has been a great honor to shoot in Ladakh, in the north of India. That's where we shot this movie. And a lot of scenes that you're going to see in this movie are snowboarding scenes. And we shot it all in, in Ladakh for the most part. So it was a great honor. That was, was my, first time, my first time sorry, uh, shooting in India. And he, he was so great, so uh, uh, I so appreciate that. Sorry for my English. Uh, if you want, I can speak Hindi. No, I'm kidding. So <laughs> uh, I just want to tell you, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for discovering this teaser. Uh, that's the first time I see it on the big screen. So actually, it's, How's it feel? It's, it's looking very good on the big screen. So I'm, I'm really happy. It has been a hard shooting. For, for those who, who, who have been in Ladakh, you know that it's hard to shoot there and how, it's hard to work there. And we stayed uh, two weeks, more than two weeks uh, there. And it was a beautiful experience. And it's a beautiful movie. It's coming next year uh, all over the world and of course in India. And um, after this movie, I wanted to know better about Indian um, movies and about Bollywood. Then I, I started to ask uh, to the people I knew back in the time, and uh, I'll talk, I'll talk, I'll tell you about those people uh, maybe uh, after. But I, I just wanted to say that it's a great honor to be here. It's a great honor to see all those, uh, all of you coming uh, to see this trailer and to see me. I'm a little bit shy. Usually I'm not shy. I go up on stage and that's all right. But here I don't, I don't have my marks. I don't know the rules, so I'm trying to be um, natural, but it's hard. Uh, just telling you, uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for, for seeing this trailer. If you can talk about it, that, that would be and cool. Be, be, before the, all of that, uh, we have a small AV about you to introduce you to all the journalists. Okay. And so you have a video about me? Yes. It's me yes, when I eat do. Don't blame us afterwards. It's me when I eat paneer? <laughs> yes. No? yes. So you'll find out. Oh la la, it's Ula. Ula. <laughs> Uh, I'm really happy, uh, guys. I just wanted to tell you some words about my, my story with, with India. I brought, I brought a paper, I'm sorry, because I don't remember everything either. And after, I'm sad because I don't remember everything. They told me, maybe you could make a stand-up. But you know, it's not like the time for a stand-up. If you do like this with your share, you can, you can lay on if you want. So I think the best time is just to, to explain, explain to you why I, I want so bad to come here and why I wanted so bad to meet all those people. Um, I, I, uh, <laughs> I've, I've, I've prepared some word in Hindi. Um, thanks to, uh, to uh, <laughs> Tani and Parina, I thank them. Um, it means you look good, all of you. Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> you look at me like, we know what it means, actually, yeah. You don't need to tell us what it means. And uh, I'll tell you another word in Hindi at the end. I just wanted to tell you that number one was a beautiful experience, one of the most exciting and crazy experiences in my life as an actor and as a human being. Because I discovered this country, I didn't know anything about India, to be honest. We, you know about Paris and you dream, guys, about Paris. We, we dream about India, for real. When I told to my friends I was in India, they told me, really, why? What's going on there? So it's, it's really interesting. And when I discovered this country, I was astonished by his diversity, by the fact that everybody wants to do better and growing again and again. I live in France, I was born in France, and sometimes in France, <laughs> I love that, but we, we are a little bit all like, okay, it's okay, it's done, we have done already. Here, what I love with you, uh, Indian people, is that you always want to fight to get more, and I'm, I'm, I'm close to you because of that. I always want more, and I always want to go further and faster. Um, so I just wanted to tell you that I'm very excited on how Phantom and Reliance team are letting me to live my, my Bollywood dream. When I met them at first, I met Javi, who's here, and uh, he talked to me about Reliance, he told me what they've done and what they're doing. And then I met the Phantom, Phantom team uh, through Vivek first, and then I met Madhu and then all the team. And then I started to, to get interested by these movies, by the Bollywood movies. And I wanted to know more, so uh, my friend Parikshit gave me a DVD of the movie Queen. And then I saw this movie and then I was like, all right, this is exactly the kind of story I want to tell. Um, when you're a celebrity in a country, I, I know that the actors here in India, this is almost weird how you, you love them. <laughs> but I respect that and I live pretty much the same in my country. And I think that when you have this chance to be beloved by, to be loved by a lot of people, you gotta use it to tell beautiful story. And when I saw Queen, I was like, it's exactly the kind of story I wanna tell. And I wanna use my celebrity to propulse those kind of story all over the world. So that was really important for me to say you that because um, it's, it's a long way. As I told to the Phantom team just before coming in, I believe in destiny and I believe in life and sometimes there's some meetings that it's not for nothing. It means something. So I met the Reliance team and I met the Phantom team and then now we have a lot of projects in common and we want to work together. And I want to say that even if I'm a star in France, I'm nothing here yet. And they're still helping me for, for a while. They're trying to make me comfortable and I've never seen that in my life. I mean, I'm working in the United States too. And when I go there, they don't care about me. Trust me. <laughs> so when I come here to see all this humanity, it's really cool and I appreciate it a lot. So I want to thank some people who helped me a lot and, and it's important for me to do it. I want to thank, of course, the whole Phantom and Reliance team. I want to thank Vivek Agar, Madhu Montena, Shibashi Sakar. I want to thank Vivek Vikas. I'm going to take, talk about Vikas in, in a minute. I'm gonna, I, I want to thank also Ravi, thank you for bringing me here. I didn't thought that uh, one day I was in front of a stage and me jumping in the video and everybody staring at me like this, this is crazy. Uh, I want to thank Amitabh also, I don't know if he's here, but I want to thank you. Uh, I want to thank my friend Parichit, uh, thank you for coming from Delhi and thank you for helping us in the shooting and, and all your team of course. I want to thank Tanvi, Tanvi, you know I love you. and. Um, Parina and Tane, who, who helped me a lot during those days. Uh, I just want to tell a few words about Vikas and his work, because we're also here tonight to talk to you about the project that we want to make together. Uh, this is an important movie for me, because it'll be my very first Bollywood movie, actually, uh, if we can call it like this. Um, it's Because it, number one is a co-production with India, but you're going to see that a lot of the story is happening in France and at the end, the beautiful, the summum is in Ladakh. So my very first Bollywood movie will be with Vikas and his, his ID and I, I just wanted to tell you that I really wanted to meet him and he has been directly really cool and, and he wanted to, to respond to my question and to meet me. Um, I really love the modernity and the message that he wanted to give through his movie Queen and his love for his country and talent has no limits. I, I, can see, I can say that because I saw his movie and now I know the guy and I feel that 
when he makes a movie, it's not just to make a movie. It's because there's always message behind, and he always wants to make India travel all over the world through movies. And this is really beautiful. Um, <laughs> Uh, I just want to say that he's going to talk to you about the movie we're preparing together, but I just want to say that I can't wait to work with him. And I want to thank you all guys for coming here. I'm discovering India. I swear in four, five years from now, I'll be the biggest star in this country. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, come this, on this, is, this is really funny because everybody stared at me like, really? <laughs> Maybe. But by the way, I want to talk to you guys about the, the, this, this movement. This is, I just want you to know that this is only in India. And I learned that it means yes. Like when you ask something to someone, do you want to go there? This means yes. But what you guys don't know, it's like in France, this gesture means I don't know. <laughs> so... Earlier in the street, I was with a guy, and then a kids come, and I'm like, is this, is this a boy? And the guy was like, so I was like, okay, maybe it's a girl, I don't know. <laughs> Nobody in the city. You have one of the, maybe the most beautiful movies industry in the world, and I'm really proud to be a part of it very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm really happy to be here tonight with you, and I hope you're going to enjoy the party. Oh my god, you still have to be like, don't do that, man. <laughs> Just don't do that. You will watch it. I love you guys, and maybe we can call Vikas on the stage. He's going to talk to you about the movie and the project. Ladies and together. gentlemen, Screen IFA Film Fair and National Award winning director because we got Bell! This fantastic, massive, big announcement that Kev has already alluded to. Explain us. What, what is this wonderful second movie that Kev was talking about that you're going to be even, even, his first Bollywood movie? Even me, I don't know. What is it? Even I Kevin doesn't know. I have no clue. I thought I was making a French film. Well, we have, we seem to have a with bit of communication my, gap here. Right? With all my hard work of so many years, I've managed to reach France, he's brought me back to college. <laughs> Alright, so we leave that for the media to decide, but do tell them what is this film that we are talking about today. Uh, it's a, uh, it was, uh, actually it was really a, a strange story. So, a long time back, uh, I was doing, uh, producing a film with Mr. Majid Majidi. I don't know if you know Mr. Majid Majid, he's an Iranian filmmaker. He's the, the most beautiful filmmaker on the planet. And uh, he was in India and we were always traveling and looking for locations for him. Majid, Mr. Majidi and I uh, used to, we fell in love with each other. We would talk to each other for hours. We could spend days with each other and we had so much to talk about. The only difference being that for all those conversations, we had an interpreter sitting between us and he had to translate everything that we used to talk about. And then uh, Mr. Majidi called me to uh, Iran for the premiere of Song of the Sparrows. And I went there and he picked me up and we saw the movie and then we went to his house for dinner. And when we went to his house for dinner, uh, the interpreter got stuck in the traffic. And uh, I reached his house and Mr. Majidi and I, like always, so much love, hugged each other and said, Vika, Mr. Majidi, we hugged, and so much love. And then we looked at each other and then we were like, oh, what next? I swear we could not say one word beyond hello to class, hello Mr. Majidi. And then I realized the importance of an interpreter. When two people are so much in love, they can talk so much, but they cannot communicate because they don't have a common language. And uh, that thought just stayed with me and I think few months later this idea came, uh, which must be about five years from now. And uh, But some ideas just seem completely uh, just ideas, they just stay as stories, you don't know what to do about it. So I never even discussed it with anyone and uh, it stayed there till Kev made it happen. And I want to thank him that he made it happen because he saw Queen, both of us connected, I told him the story, I got to know who Kev was and I was like, whoa. So what you saw on the screen and how big a star he is, I was like, I was in Cannes and uh, I told Anurag that I spoke to Kev and I told him the story on the phone and he loved it. He said, you have no idea who you spoke to. So I said, uh, no, I mean, it must be big, right? He says, you have no idea. So he took me to, Sanrak took me to two producers of France, and he said, uh, you can't just tell them who you spoke to. So I said, I just spoke to Kev. You spoke to Kev? So, on your phone? So I said, yeah. He took your phone? <laughs> yeah. So then I pulled out my phone and said, yeah, see, that's Kev. <laughs> and then 
it slowly. I got to gonna know. be the same in India. Don't love too much. <laughs> <laughs> I said Madhu's name is Kim. <laughs> Eleven missed calls. <laughs> And uh, and then yeah, this sudden this story, which was just one abusive uh, idea, has suddenly become a reality, and I'm so thankful to Kev that uh, it's happening. And um, then I met uh, two beautiful writers, Paula and Saran, who have made it a reality now, and they've been working at it for the last uh, seven eight months. And um, yeah, we hope to have it on the floor soon.